What is up guys, my name is Talha and you are watching Gadgets Sphere. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the Poco X3 Pro. Should you actually get that smartphone in 2022 or not? And I actually have a love and hate relationship with this smartphone. Some of the things are absolutely insanely good, but some of the things are just really bad. Let's just talk about what is good first. So in terms of the battery life, this smartphone offers crazy good, insanely awesome battery life. The battery life is one of the best things you have in this phone. And then the second thing which is amazing is the display. I know it doesn't have a super AMOLED display, but man, that 120Hz IPS LCD combo plus that amazing super high brightness is just so good. It is great for watching movies and content. It also supports wide wide L1 so you can watch Netflix and Amazon Prime in full HD. And you know what the best part is? It is an HDR10 plus panel, which basically means if you want to watch videos which are in HDR or even if you want to play games in HDR like PUBG or BGMI, it is going to look super awesome, which is actually better than normal LCD. And let's just talk about the cameras. How are they? They're actually not the best. They're not in pros. They're actually in cons. Why? Let me just explain. The camera is a very basic 48 megapixel sensor and the ultrawide is basically trash. It's not good for taking videos or even photos. It's just not that great. And the main camera is actually quite good, but you know, in video recording, it just performs poorly. I mean, the stabilization is super awesome, but the fact that the videos don't have that much depth is very lacking. If you're especially a YouTuber like me and you want to shoot videos with your Poco, you shouldn't do it. But then if you want to play games, how about that? The Snapdragon 860 is super awesome value for money. Not even kidding. It is just great. I mean, 860 performs awesome. And yeah, the BGMI runs smooth plus extreme 60 FPS all the times. At times it drops, but that's very rare. And if you want to play 90 FPS, if you want to install a custom ROM, you can still get a really good FPS count. I mean, 75 plus FPS all the times, which isn't that bad. I mean, it's actually worth it. So, uh, in terms of gaming, it is a good phone, but we have the motherboard issue. Let's just leave it aside to talk it the last. Let's just talk about how about the actual user experience. So yeah, in this, I'm also going to include the custom rooms because many guys will actually change the custom room and just change or switch to custom rooms. And that is actually a better idea. Let me explain why. We all know MIUI, right? It's good, not the best. I mean, we all know it, we all love it, but we don't like some parts about it. Like we all complained about the Poco launcher and how Munchie called it poop launcher. And why he called it because it just doesn't have those animations. It's not that smooth like MI launcher. And then after finally 10 months, they released the simple update and upgraded it. And that was so simple thing, but they didn't do it. Like earlier, they could have just done it within a week, but they were very lazy. So the community of the Poco are actually not that strong. But don't get me wrong. The custom room community is super duper strong. They are so good in their task. Like they have made some of the best custom rooms for the X3 Pro. And I just bought the smartphone to make videos about it. I mean, you guys were insanely happy that I have the X3 Pro and I make videos about the custom rooms because it's so good. I mean, the support of the Pixel experience and you know, we have the Havoc OS, we have Durfest OS. These rooms work super awesome. Like they are actually worth trying out. So if you have the X3 Pro, you are thinking of buying one of those. If you want, you can actually try custom rooms. That's my suggestion because custom rooms are going to give you the best experience out of that 860. But then we have the heartbreak issue. Man, that is the actually problem, right? And that is actually the problem. I mean, it is actually present. It is there. They, it might heartbreak in the future. We can't tell you really how it will or when it will, but it is an issue to consider because if it will heartbreak, that is going to cost a lot of money. And I don't think you probably will repair because if you are thinking of buying secondhand, you already won't have warranty. And if you don't have warranty, then it will, it will be even harder to repair it. So those were my thoughts about the X3 Pro. Overall, should you get it second hand? I think it's actually still worth it. Super awesome phone. Just don't use it a lot or like play six hours straight. I mean, three, three hours straight. Just play like two hours and then give it a break. Give it to relax and it's going to be fine. That's my take in the X3 Pro. I think it's a good smartphone. It's actually worth it. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. That's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.